Welcome to a Key Smash Studios Unreal tutorial. In the previous part, we had the door rotate after the statues were placed in the correct order, so that way we could get to what will be our flickering light for Morse code, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to create the light in here so it flickers and the code that we want it to, so that way someone can later type in the Morse code to open up this door. So to begin, I'm going to show you just some Morse code in general. We're going to stick with something simple, and we'll just make the light flicker one, two, and three. But you can have it flicker whatever you want in any order that you want. So this will be pretty simple, and we're going to do this in Blueprint. So we'll go ahead and create a new Blueprint class. And we're just going to simply make it an actor, and we'll call it Morse code light blueprint. Go ahead and open this. We're going to add a component, and this component will simply be a point light. The next thing we're going to do is go to our event graph. And the only thing that we're going to need here is our begin play event. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have the light toggle and have it delayed. So like I was saying earlier, we're going to do one, two, three. So for long, we'll have the light be on for a duration of one. And for the short ones, we'll have the light be on for a duration of 0.2. The delays in between each thing will be 0.5. And then at the end, before we cycle back through up to one, we'll have the delay be three. So this is going to be somewhat repetitive, but we're going to go ahead and begin with a retriggerable delay. And so the light will initially start on. So what we want to do is have for our one, we want to have it be a one duration, in which we'll just say that the light is on for one second before this delay ends. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll toggle the visibility. And as you can see, it lets you pick which component of this class that you want to toggle. And we want to toggle our point light, which is just saying that at this point, if it's on, we want to switch it to off. So from there, we're going to go ahead and add just a regular delay. And then in between each on and off, we want to do 0.5. So it's clearly visible when it's on and when it's off. And this is the first part of our Morse code. So this is simply just this one long line of our one, turning it on and turning it off. So we're just going to repeat this for each of the next numbers. So we'll do another toggle and then this is turning our light back on and so we want it to stay on again for another duration of one which will be another long code. So after it's on for one, we're going to go ahead and we'll just repeat this part. So we'll just go ahead and copy that down here. Well, we need another toggle first. So although we have these mini boxes right now, it's just staying on for one, toggling off, staying off for 0.5, toggling back on, staying on for one, toggling back off, staying off for 0.5, and then toggling back on. So we only have two long so far. So now at this point, we'll go ahead and we'll just copy from here to here. And we'll just add this down here. So this is our third long. And our one has four longs and one short. So we'll grab this. We're going to add a toggle in the middle here.
And so now what it is, is it's on, off, on, off. Oh, I have two offs. So this needs to be an on, this needs to be an off. So one on, two long, three long, four long, and then our last off, and then we'll have another one of these. Except this one, instead of two, we want this one to be short, so we're going to do point two. And then we're just going to drag this to lay out more. And then we need to add another toggle right here. So this is our one. It's very long but very simple, and I'm just going to add a comment around all of it and put one there just so we know this whole section is one in our Morse code. And then we're going to have another delay here in the middle before it goes to our next one, and we're going to make this one slightly longer. So in between them, we're going to make it a delay of two, just so you can easily tell when it's shifting between the two numbers, because you may not come to the light right at the beginning of the Morse code. This will be constantly going, so whenever you get the door open, you don't know exactly necessarily where inside it, where inside the code it is, so we want to make it clear where the middle sections are. And then the one at the end before it cycles right back around will make even longer. So now that we have one done, we can go ahead and do two. So we'll copy this whole thing because two is fairly similar to one. And we'll go down here and paste it. We'll move it up here. We'll change the comment to say two. We'll connect these. And we'll also be able to get rid of this retriggerable delay. What we'll do now is go through and change the delays. So what this is having to do is turn off, delay two seconds, and then turn back on. So for two, it's long, long, it's three longs and two shorts. So what we're going to do is we'll have this one be one, the middle be still the 0.5. We need another long. That's our second long. This is our delay in the middle. This is our third long. This is our delay in the middle of those two. And then what we'll do is we'll do a short. And now we have our first short, our delay in the middle. And then what we'll do is we need to expand this one a bit. And we'll change this delay to be our second short. And then we'll just copy this. We'll just copy this end piece. And I forgot another toggle, so we'll add that in here. And scoot this down a little. And then the, this is a break between them, so we don't need all these. And this is the end here, so it'll turn back off. And then we'll have our middle delay, which again is two. And then we'll go into three, so we'll just do the same as we did. We'll copy number two. We'll come down to the end and paste it. We'll change it to three. And then we'll take all this stuff and move it up just a little bit. We'll connect these. And then two is almost identical to three, except it's flipped. So instead of three long, two short, it's two long, three short. So we have one long, two long. So we just need to change this third long to a short, and then we should have 
one short, two short, three short, and then the end. So with the end here, after we toggle our visibility off, we want to have another retriggerable delay. And then again, like I said earlier, we want it to have a longer duration so that way you can tell where it is in the cycle. So we're putting it as three seconds. And then from there, we're going to toggle it back on. And then we want it to go all the way back to the beginning. And then I'm just going to, just so it's easier to see, we'll just move this down here, put a little dot there, so that way you can see it's wrapping back up to that retriggerable delay. So we've just created a loop that goes through and shines the long and shorts of a one in Morse code, delays for our two seconds in the middle of them, shines a two in Morse code, delays for two seconds in the middle of them, shines a three in Morse code, delays for our three seconds in the middle of the whole thing, toggles it back on, goes all the way to the beginning and repeats. So we'll go ahead and compile this and save this. And then what we're going to do is just put it in the scene. So where this little spotlight is, we'll just remove it and then put our Morse code light here instead. So now I'll go ahead and save the scene. We'll go ahead and play. Sorry, we'll compile. And then we'll play. We'll grab our statues. Can grab the flashlight. And then we'll go ahead and put it in our order, which I believe is blue, red, green. And it'll open. And then as you can see, it's flashing. So those are long. That's a short, long, 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 short, 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 long. And then repeat. So long, 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 our short, so that's our one, long, long, long long, short, short, so that's our two, and then long, 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 short, short, short. So that's our three, two longs and three shorts, and then there was the three second delay, and then it restarts. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. In this one, we created a flashing light in Morse code, and the next part, we will be creating how you take this input and can put it over here so this door will open. Thanks for watching.